Hey guys, welcome back to another ride. We're just going to grab some lunch. Let's go. Uh, great, it pulled right out. No hesitation here. Let's see if the map will jump around here at the stop sign. Yeah, it does. We should be making a left here. Good job, yeah, made the right choice to make a left. All right, making it right at the stop sign. Yeah, sometimes it goes straight and has to loop around the parking lot there. Just uh, not sure why it bounces around between the two different points. Comfortable stop sign here, good speed limit. It's 15, it's driving 20 and 15, 22, very comfortable. Oh, it's interesting, this time around it's pre-staging to the right for this uh, turn only lane. Before it was driving in the middle of both lanes. There's no markings of any kind, so it can go either way, but it looks like it's choosing to stay on the right-hand side. All right, there's one more car coming. It should go now. All right, perfect. Nice timing on there. down a little bit, 42 and a 40. Pedestrian on the right here. Oh, the air just makes it so loud. Oh, it drives me crazy when it's not. It's just due north. It doesn't adjust with the turns. There we go. so weird so I'm keeping my hands on my lap right so there's a part of my arm where the Sun is getting through the roof and I don't feel anything right here but the other part of my arm when the Sun is going through the windshield I can feel the heat coming off it's crazy that uh, how well this uh, UV cover works on this glass roof on top. It's amazing. This is literally like I can tell the the line right about here where I feel the heat on this side of my arm, but no heat here where the glass roof is covering. Just thought it was an interesting tidbit to share. Thirty-eight and thirty-five. There's nobody. And there's a car behind us, but they're giving us plenty of space. Bit of an early slowdown here. I think it was thinking that maybe that car would be making a left into the turn there, so it gave it plenty of space, but it went straight. And that beautiful Model Y in front of us. Put in the comments below what your favorite Tesla color is. Uh, I'm always curious to see, like mine personally is blue. My wife loves the white color. Uh, my dad is a fan of the new Quicksilver. And uh, my mom, she, I think she wants the white, but she ended up buying a blue one because that's the one that they had in stock and she didn't have to wait forever for the car. But you put your favorite color down comments below. All right, we're coming up to our entrance to the parking lot for the restaurant. Nice wide turn here. Very good. Good slowdown. There's plenty of room from the curb. This is one of the best turns um, that I've had with this turn here. 
Let's see how it handles this stop sign. We got a stop sign here, and we're making a right, and then a quick left. Very smooth. Wow, this is also one of the best uh, it's done that particular section. This new version, 12.5.1.3, very smooth on those quick turns. All right, we've arrived at the destination. I'm just gonna park it here. I don't know why it doesn't just offer me an option to park it automatically, but I'm sure Elon's working on that as we speak. Because it'd be so convenient if it just pulled up and recognized that you're at a destination and just turn on the park assist and just wait for you to hit start if you want to, or if not, you could just hit continue or something, just add a button. There we go. We are officially parked. I'm gonna grab my food and I'll be right back. We will continue to ride. A few moments later. All right, and we're back. Now we're just gonna head back to the office, put the car in drive, select the office, and off we go. All right, started FSD while there's a car passing. So it stopped and waited for the car. Nice smooth exit out of the parking spot. Coming up to our first stop sign. This uh, nice white turn for the curb. That's that's my favorite part about this version. Like, uh, don't really have to worry about the curbs. You can feel that it's taking a nice wide turn when it's got the space. Just waiting for this gray Toyota to pass. Here we go. It pulls right out. Fantastic. I'm gonna pick up left here at the traffic light. Oh, this is the traffic light on the previous versions. We got honked at for sitting here for too long. I'm not being assertive enough. So we'll see how well the handles at this time around. It's not creeping up all the way to the white line because it's given the other cars from the right there to enough space to make their left turn. Unlike the gentleman to the right of us, he's creeped way past the line. Windows down. Get some fresh air in here. Oh, yeah, wow, that was a bit dangerous too. We were going, and then all of a sudden the car braked unexpectedly, and the person behind us had already started moving and they had to brake unexpectedly as well. This is the second ride that I'm having this issue where it does unexpectedly brakes. Not sure why. causes a uh, uncomfortable situation for the car behind me because they're not quite sure what's going on. Luckily this one was only for a split second but somebody rerunning you only takes a split second. <laughs> we got a yellow light here coming up. Good slow down. Fantastic. It's so crazy that it understands the perception of how far these lights are because we have a red light right here that we stopped for and then just right ahead of us there was another light that was green at the time and it just knew that it has to use the the light above versus the light below to navigate around it's absolutely wild it's like, these are the things, like, as you drive as a human, you don't really think about it. You just know that, like, oh, this light right here is, is the light that I need to stop at. And then the other green light is for when I move forward. And the system understands that as well, really well. This guy's gonna try to sneak out in front of us now. All right, he's got traffic from the other side. Sorry, truck. Nice. 
is sneaking out right after we passed. All right, 38 in the 40, I'm just gonna push the accelerator a bit. It's going a bit too slow in this section. two miles till we're turning back into our office parking lot here from the other side. Let's see. Got a lot of cars here. So normally when the cars are stacked this far back, I would just sneak onto the yellow line and uh, take the left turn. But obviously FSD is not doing that. It's waiting till traffic moves along before it goes in the left lane only. Yeah. Very cautious, very patient. Get slowed down here at the green. We should go right after this ram. Perfect. A smooth drive right into the driveway here. It did pick up the stop, the uh, speed limit this time. Last time it did not pick up the speed limit and it was doing like 35, 40 in this section over to the right here. Fantastic. All right, here comes the flower divider. Let's see, this morning uh, when I did the commute to work, it did phenomenal here. So let's see what it does this time around. Nice. Nope, it's driving into the divider and it has to correct itself again. Okay. So this morning it executed this turn perfectly, and then this time around it's driving itself into the divider and then correcting itself, which is better than the previous version. The previous version would just stop at the divider, or I'd have to disengage because I didn't know if it would stop or not. All right, we're gonna take over here. I'm just gonna go past these dead limbs here, pick something a little bit more safe. There's some dead limbs on the trees behind me that are giving me shade, so I'm trying to uh, avoid parking under them in case one of them decides to calm down and I'm not trying to find out if it can skewer my car. All right, perfect parking job. Fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And uh, take care of yourself, your family, and have a great day.